Golda, good to meet you. You too. The true queen of Bridgerton. Oh, like, well, I don't know about that. There I are mean, many queens on this show. We are an ensemble of queens. From the very beginning, though, like, it's been you. Are you still enjoying playing this character as much as you did right at the very start? Yeah, I love her. I have a very unique relationship with her than I have with any other part that I've played, which is really fascinating to me. It's so when I watch her, I don't what I don't see myself. It's like an outer body experience. And it's kind of like that when I play her. I always come off and I'm when when I've done a day's filming or whatever and I always sit in the trailer afterwards and always have this kind of Wow, okay girl. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yes. Kind of looking back at this person that has just experienced stuff and talked to people and sat on a throne and yeah, it's a very outer body experience and I learn a lot about myself through her. You bring such a presence to her as oh, well. Thank though. you very like, much. Honestly. I think she does that. She is. Know, does it sound weird that I'm no. kind of th talking about her in? No, it's a completely different person. It's <laughs> yeah. not you, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, tell me though, what is it like being on the inside? Because you have, from the very start of Bridgerton, been there, and this show is just such a phenomenon. Yeah. And you're on the inside. What is that like? It's a very special place to work, and a lot of people who come into our world feel that and have expressed that. Um, which is really, really nice because I know it's kind of cliche and all actors kind of say, yeah, we're a family and it's all great, but it is really beautiful um, and it comes from the top, you know, right from the beginning, Shonda, uh, Chris Van Dusen right at the, you know, at the beginning and Tom Verica now and all the producers and Netflix, it's, that's the kind of vibe that we have and I think it's because we create a community of like-minded people of all different nationalities, shapes and sh sizes, you know, so we all kind of create and celebrate in one space. And that's really great to have all of those voices, you know? Yeah, 100%. Um, I've loved learning about the, the, the history of Queen Charlotte in here. And it was interesting to see, obviously, how, you know, she, I, you never know how much is spoilers and how much not, hopefully yeah, I hopefully yeah, 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 yeah. But, <laughs> but obviously she's spending a lot of time by herself in here as well. Are you someone who's good on your own or do you need the company? Like I think she does kind of wish she had that company but she somehow manages to to do that. And I think that's testament to her and her self-belief yeah. and her grounding in knowing who she is. I have that. I love being on my own. Um, I love my own company. I'm not afraid of it. Um, I take after my mother in that respect. She was very, a person exactly like that. But also, like, I love the noise of humans. Okay. I love that kind of musical banter of people just connecting and... So you like people watching, but I have love being in your own people space. Watching. I used to do that as a young actress go to cafes and just have a cup of coffee and just like watch the world go by and different characters and people like, are they together? What's happening there? And like make up stories and stuff like that. So I think a good balance of both is is really great. No, I'm, I'm the opposite. My mum hates being by herself, oh, really? but I love it. It's funny yeah, that you're funny. Like yeah, no, I think I um, took after my mum. I know that you'd said that you needed the stamina to carry all these costumes yeah. and everything. Has it got easier? Three seasons in? It, it's it's a up and down experience <laughs> because I have the joy of not being there every single day. So I can go away and kind of, you know, live my life and, and take her off, exactly. And then when I come back, it takes a little bit of time for the body to adjust to double corsets, wigs that are record breakingly heavy, skirts that are heavy and have that kind of, so you know, the body needs to kind of get back into balance yeah. for Queen Charlotte. Um, it doesn't take that long. It's, you know, I think our muscles have memory, yes. don't they? Yeah. So my muscles definitely say, we know where you are, <laughs> you know, so, but I train three times a, a week. 
weight training, all of that kind of stuff. I, you know, as soon as I'm starting a filming thing, I try and eat healthy because it is about stamina. You've got a long day filming, you know, under lights and so on and different direction and stuff. And yeah, you need to kind of keep yourself alert and your body alert and fresh. Yeah. Well, you carry it well. I feel I like do. I would lose a few inches if it if it was yes, here, and I, I haven't do. got many of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lose. No, I do. I do. I do. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's been wonderful learning about Thank more you. about Queen Charlotte and yeah. seeing more of you on screen. Of course, good luck with it. Thank Not you so much. Not that you much. need it with this series. It's, it's always. Very kind.